In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone your Mac hard drive using a piece of software called Carbon Copy Cloner. Now, in my opinion, this is probably the easiest way to clone your Mac hard drive. Yes, there are other ways that don't require additional software. You can use this with disk utility, but it doesn't always work properly and it can become cumbersome. Before we get started and hop over to the computer, there are a couple of things that you might need. So if you're using an old Mac Pro Tower that has the capability to have more than one hard drive in it, you're not gonna need some of the things I'm gonna be listing because you can just put your new drive in and you'll be able to select that in the software when we get to it in a little bit. Now, for anybody that has a MacBook or an iMac, or in my case, I'm using a Mac Pro 6.1, which is the trash can or cylinder Mac Pro, I don't have the ability to put more than one hard drive in my computer. So in order to clone my drive, if I wanna upgrade it, which is what we're doing, I'm gonna um, need something like this. So it's just an external enclosure. You can get one from OWC if you're using an Apple proprietary drive. And in my case, I'm gonna just be using a normal 2280 NVMe drive, which I have here. And then I bought an adapter off of Amazon that's gonna make that work in my Mac Pro to give us the proprietary slot. So I'll link all that stuff down in the description. And now let's hop on over to the computer and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so hop on over to the computer. You're gonna to wanna to go to this website right here, and I'll link that down in the description for you guys. And then right on the main page, you're just gonna click download 30 day trial. If for whatever reason they change the website, you can click download right here, and it will take you to a similar page where you can select different versions based on the type of, or the version of Mac OS that you have rather. So I'm using Monterey, so I'm gonna use the newest version, but if for whatever reason you're using an older version and you'd still like to clone your drive, then you have this nice little chart here and you can scroll down and download the version that you need. Now, I've already clicked on download, so I actually have the file right here. It is a zip file, so to extract it, we're just gonna double click it. And it's going to give us this. And I'm gonna just throw that in my applications folder. And then let's make sure the application opens. Trial. Okay, so now you can go ahead and put your hard drive in your external enclosure. And we're gonna hook that up to our computer. And then we'll come back once we have that done and I'll show you what you need to select. Once you have the new drive in the enclosure and you've plugged it in, you might get a pop-up that tells you that you can eject or initialize the, the drive or ignore it. You wanna click initialize. And then if it doesn't automatically open up disk utility, we're gonna go in and we're gonna open it up from our applications. So you just wanna scroll down till you find your utilities folder and then disk utility. And what this is gonna do is this is going to allow us to format the drive. So external, this J Micron Tech Media, that's just the, I guess the brand of the board that's inside of the external enclosure that I'm using. Now, if your hard drive's already in your computer, it's not gonna be listed under external, it would be listed under internal in the case of using like a classic Mac Pro. So what we need to do is we need to erase the drive so that the Mac can use it. We can name this uh, whatever we want. I'm just gonna name it the same thing as my old one and I'm going to call it APFS for the format and I'm leaving the scheme the same. Now you have the capability to choose whatever you'd like here depending on your use case, but for me personally, I'm going to use this. So once we have that, we just click erase and it should format our drive for us. And there we go. So that was successful and as you can see, our drive is now right here. So we can close out disk utility and we're gonna go back to carbon copy cloner and this is, it couldn't be any simpler than this. So we're literally just gonna select the source drive. So this is the drive that we wish to copy. So in my case, I just have the stock 500 gig hard drive in my Mac Pro 6.1. So I'm gonna select that. And then this second box is gonna be the drive in which we want to copy it to. So our clone drive. So this is the drive we just formatted. We don't need to mess with any of this scheduling or change any of the settings. The way the software comes uh, set up right out of the box is gonna work for everybody. Um, if you did wanna change some settings, like you didn't want your preferences to carry over, then you could go into advanced settings and you could go through and you could change some stuff where it's not preserving permissions and doing some various other things. 
but I'm not going to do any of that. One thing that we do need to do in order to make our drive bootable is under destination, we need to right click on the drive and we need to select legacy bootable copy assistant. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow Carbon Copy Cloner to actually copy over all the boot sectors to our new drive. If we don't do this, then the drive will not boot when you swap them out. So to proceed, we just need to click Allow Carbon Copy Cloner to Erase Macintosh HD. And then once we do that, you should see in purple letters at the top of the screen here, Legacy Bootable Copy. And as long as you see that, then you know you have everything set right. And then we're just gonna click Start. So if you're all set to go, we're just gonna click that. And then it's gonna give us this little pop-up. You just click install, type in your password, and then you're gonna follow these prompts. So Apple has a lot of security, and in order for us to copy this properly, uh, this is why disk utility fails a lot, I might add. Um, we need to go in and grant some permissions. So you're just gonna select the number one. We're gonna go down each one of these, and you're gonna select the first one, type in the password, so after we unlock the lock down here, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna try and find this software piece over here. So we should see Carbon Copy Cloner. We click that, and then we're gonna click Quit and Reopen. We're gonna click OK, Cancel, lock this back up. Since we quit and reopen the software, make sure that you re-enable Legacy Bootable Copy Assistant if you want the drive to be bootable. And then from there, you're good to click Start. And so this is gonna take a little bit. So once this is complete, then we will be back. And for me, this took about 28 minutes to copy everything over. Now, if you have more than one hard drive in your computer, at this point, you can just go into your startup settings and change your startup disk, and hopefully everything works and you boot successfully. For me, I'm gonna swap this over to my Mac Pro. Spoiler alert, I didn't have any problems booting after I installed the hard drive. And it's as easy as that. If you had any issues with this process, hit me up down in the comments and let me know and I will try to get back to you and see if we can help resolve that together. If for whatever reason you have a piece of software that does the same exact thing, hit me up in the comments and let me know what it is. The key is that it's just as easy as what we just did because if it requires all kinds of extra steps, you don't want it and I don't want it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of future uploads. And until next time, Peace.